Good morning, friends. I'm Debbie Notdurft. I'm Bob Notdurft. We're at First United Methodist Church in Kirksville, Missouri. We're so glad to be able to share this time with you this morning. I've spent a fair amount of time on Facebook recently. It's been a while since I did that, but with a desire to feel more connected to people, Facebook seemed like a good place to hang out. And in some ways it has been. I've seen a lot of cute pictures of babies, pets, weddings and anniversaries, all the stuff Facebook is so good at, and I sure have laughed at some funny memes. But I've discovered a downside to Facebook, and that's the political posts. You know, it turns out that not everybody thinks like me. Some people have opinions that are, in fact, the exact opposite of mine and they aren't always very nice about how they express those opinions. And the people who think like I do aren't always very nice about how they express their opinions either. At first, I just kind of went, huh, when I saw something I disagreed with. Then occasionally I would click on the wow or the mad button. A couple times I've even typed a response. I've tried to be nice, but I'm engaging in a disagreement. Then I read the following scriptures. Romans 12, 18. If it is possible, as far as, de far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Ephesians 4, 3. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. Colossians 3:15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. In Hebrews 12, 14, make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Well, these verses are making me rethink my current Facebook habit or habits in a big way. I'm pretty sure my time there is not allowing peace to rule in my heart, and my actions are not making every effort to live in peace with others. On the other hand, scripture tells us that we as Christians are called to seek justice and mercy. So when we are confronted with injustice, we are called to speak up. I absolutely believe this is true. But in my ponderings, I'm wondering if Facebook is a meaningful or helpful place to speak out. And I'm beginning to think not. Applying scripture to our lives can be a challenge, but I believe we're called to do so. Brothers and sisters, you're hearing me think this through in real time. Maybe you wrestle with this too in this divided country of ours. I'd be interested in your thoughts in the comments. The song Bob and I are going to share this morning is Peace is Flowing Like a River. If you know it, please sing along with us. This was written by Reverend Kerry Landry. Oh, yeah. 
My prayer is that I, that we can be peaceable in our words and actions, being the people God wants us to be. Amen.